following table shows the punctuality of flights for two regional airlines that fly in and out of MIA. Find the probability that a randomly selected flight will be on time given that the airline is American Eagle. Okay, so I've underlined some key phrases here. First of all, it says find the probability, so we know we're working a probability question. Then it says that a randomly selected flight will be on time given that the airline is American Eagle. A randomly selected flight indicates just one flight. We have the phrase given that, the fact that it's a probability, we're only selecting one flight, and we have the phrase given that, that indicates that it's conditional probability. Okay, so now that we know it's conditional probability and we have the data laid out in a table like it is here, we should basically focus only on the given that condition, and then from there isolate the row or column that corresponds to that condition. So let's start out by writing the probability statement out. It's going to be the probability that the flight will be on time given that the airline is American Eagle. So I'm just going to abbreviate American Eagle. Okay, so let's focus only on this condition here, this given that condition here, American Eagle. We're only going to look at the row or column of data that corresponds to American Eagle. So when I look at the data laid out in the table, I see American Eagle here, and there's the row that corresponds to that category. So we're only focusing on this. Remember, this is the known condition, the thing that is true. So we know that we're dealing with American Eagle, and we're asking our question of what's the probability the flight will be on time given that it's an American Eagle flight. Well, once you've highlighted the row or column that corresponds to the given that condition, remember your total for that column becomes your denominator when you're dealing with conditional probability. So we're only going to look at 58 flights here the 58 flights belonging to American Eagle. Now, for the other two remaining numbers, we need to figure out which one goes on top for the fraction, and that should correspond to this condition here, the on-time condition. So looking at the remaining two numbers that we haven't used yet, which one corresponds to the flight being on time? Clearly the answer is 45, right? So 45 is the answer for the top. And when you divide the two of them, you'll get your final answer, which is going to be the on-time rate for American Eagle airline flights. All right, so let's see what we get when we do that. We'll have 45 divided by 58. And when we're done, we get the answer 0.776, or 77.6%. 77.6% of the flights from American Eagle will be on time. Okay, so again, how do you interpret this number? We say, given that it's an American Eagle flight, the probability that it's on time is 77.6. So you know it's an American Eagle flight, and you're asking what's the chance that it'll be on time. That chance is 77.6%.